Okay. This is what I found in the library um, on Kauai, mm -hmm. and it's really atrocious. These are just some of the few books I found. I mean, I couldn't read them all from Kauai. This is one of them, What Makes a Baby. In this book, there is no babies anymore. There's no men, there's no woman. There's bodies with uterus and bodies with a sperm. They are removing the word men or woman. Red is for kindergartners. It's a book that's selling kids. They could be on the wrong body. This is for three years old. They could be in the wrong body. In the wrong body. This is for 10 years old. 10 years old, you guys. It's perfectly normal. Ah, oh, isn't it crazy? It's not. 10 years old? Whether it's heterosexual or homosexual, I don't care. Irrelevant. I don't care. This it's is not irrelevant. for a, this is not for a ten year old, you guys. Anybody has children here or cakey? This is not okay. Okay. <sighs> this is gender queer. This, sorry, you guys, but this is. I'm going to show it to everybody. She's just, oral yeah, sex. She wants we have to be showing this kids section in the library, in library, and this is in the schools. This is in the schools. Mm -hmm. Is this okay, you guys? I'm sorry. I'm a mom, your boys. This shouldn't be seen by little kids. So I know that the, the representative left, but please show them. This is what the library. Yeah, on, on, on public Hawaii. library. Mm -hmm. I know, and in public schools too, dear. And if you speak against this, you say, "Oh, you're anti-gay." I'm not anti-gay, but don't be showing porn to my kids. The left-wing gender insanity being pushed on our children is an act of child abuse. Very simple. My Department of Education will inform states and school districts that if any teacher or school official suggests to a child that they could be trapped in the wrong body, they will be faced with severe consequences, including potential civil rights violations for sex discrimination and the elimination of federal funding. As part of our new credentialing body for teachers, we will promote positive education about the nuclear family the roles of mothers and fathers, and celebrating rather than erasing the things that make men and women different and unique. I will ask Congress to pass a bill establishing that the only genders recognized by the United States government are male and female, and they are assigned at birth. The bill will also make clear that Title IX prohibits men from participating in women's sports, and we will protect the rights of parents from being forced to allow their minor child to assume a gender which is new and an identity without the parent's consent. The identity will not be new, and it will not be without parental consent. No serious country should be telling its children that they were born with the wrong gender, a concept that was never heard of in all of human history. Nobody's ever heard of this, what's happening today. It was all when the radical left invented it just a few years ago. Under my leadership, this madness will end. Thank you very much.